From American Public Media, this is Marketplace. I'm Kai Rizdal. Almost as tantalizing as the idea of using a single trillion dollar platinum coin to take care of our debt ceiling woes is the idea of what such a coin might look like. It will be, or one hopes it will be anyway, a one of a kind addition to the nation's currency. All right, so it's not really going to happen. But if it did, what would that coin look like? Garrett Burke was the concept designer for the California State Quarter back in 2005. Garrett, thanks for coming in. Thank you. So the Treasury Secretary decides to to do the trillion-dollar coin. He comes to you and he says, Garrett, I need you to design this thing for me. What do you do? What's How do you do this? Well, first you have to take a step back and you have to realize uh, – this isn't a real coin in a sense. It's not circulating currency. One, one hopes, right? I mean, he's not going to put it in his pocket and take it home. But It's, it's in a sense, reminiscent of the large stone coins that you would see on a uh, South Pacific <laughs> island. <laughs> That's right. Like yeah. the Yap. And so you have to take a step back and, and realize that, in a sense, this coin is a bit of a farce. Well, all right. So let's, let's go serious, right? Because it is, it is, were it to happen, it would be a serious enterprise. It would be a serious undertaking. So... One imagines, as as most United United States coins have have uh, presidents or people of note on the front, you'd have to pick somebody to put on it, right? Yes. Okay. Well, difficult because there's no <laughs> one person of the American government yeah. that I could say would represent it. However, there is a person through history. You have to look at this as a history. A, a coin is a time capsule, and I think the appropriate person would be Charles Ponzi. <laughs> that is the only person who I could rep- ah, but, That was pretty good, But man. done in a very representational way. Perhaps uh, he's standing on a street corner and there's a, a, a portrait of him maybe speaking with some potential investors. Yeah. Uh, so Charles Ponzi would be one person that would make yeah. sense for me. Uh, I think probably the way to go with it is not to be too representational with it yeah. and to symbolize. So the idea that it is a uh, uh, perhaps a uh, a dollar sign that's twisted in on itself that forms an infinity loop, an, a loophole. Well, then, like one of those those uh, Escher drawings, right? The exactly, guy MC Escher. But, but then you actually just drill a hole in the coin, and that is the hole that all the money is falling into. If it comes to pass, this is a coin that will be uh, used once uh, to, to backstop the debt till we get through this debt crisis. Um, redeemed somehow, and then uh, melted down probably and turned back into regular old platinum. So so the question becomes, does the design even matter? Always. The design always, always matters. And the design on this, if if we look at it in a classical sense, who would it be? Because coins have their, their roots in Greek and Roman times. Uh, I was thinking perhaps it's an image of Icarus flying too oh, close yeah. to the sun. And that could be a beautiful Art Deco type of representation, but also symbolizing the idea of the symbol of arrogance and the consequence of unbridled ambition. You guys can go totally crazy with the symbolism, right? Well, that's what coins is. If you look at a coin, it, right inside the word coin is icon, I-C-O-N. A coin is a symbol. So when you pick out any pocket change, you have some representation of our daily life as citizens of the United States. And that's why every coin has liberty, e pluribus unum, in God we trust stamped on it. Okay. So the design of the coin, what it says, the mottos, they really do matter. And this one will say $1 trillion, too. Uh, well, I would not put $1 trillion on it. I would leave the option over, open that it could be a quadrillion coin at some point. Yeah, because that'll, that'll, that's a debt crisis we don't even want to deal with. Yes. Yeah. Garrett Burke, if you have seen uh, the California State Quarter with John Muir uh, in Yosemite, uh, you know his work. Thanks very much for coming. A pleasure, Kai. Thank you.